So this company sent me an email a couple months ago wanting to send me this product and I blew them off so I was too busy. They sent me another email. I was thinking it was just a digital distance finder and you know whatever there's thousands of those. Well this time I actually looked at the email a little bit closer and there's some features on this one that I haven't seen on a lot of the other ones. If these are common features let me know but I believe this one here can do a lot more than your average one. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you what this thing can do. And it's so far has been very accurate and let's just get into it. All right, so I've got a box over here coming down with my tape measure so we can see how accurate this thing is. Okay, so we got the little icon right up here. So with it set like this, that's measuring to the back. So let's see, that's 84 inches, so that should be about seven foot. Um, make sure we're tight there. Dead on the back. Okay, so if you can see, see if I can zoom this in a little bit more. I mean, the back of the machine is, is right there. Whenever you look straight down, and then that came up as 7.007 feet. So, I mean, that is extremely accurate. So, that's good. But, say if you um, want to measure from the front up here, all you have to do is just long press this. And now we're measuring from the front. So when I put it here, I measure. So now it's saying 6.6 .6 because um, I'm uh, coming from the front, not the back. Okay, so if I want to find my square footage, say I'm needing to replace the flooring, I come over here to where it's got the square and I hit my OK button. Then get my hand out of the way. OK, so that gives me from front to back of my room. I turn it sideways here. And that gives me a cross and that gives me my square footage. So I've got my total square footage, just that simple. If I'm doing a whole house, I can go to the next room, the next room, and it'll just keep um, everything in the memory. All right, so say I'm walking through and I need to get a total distance, but I don't have line of sight. Well, I can come over here. I can hit. Okay, so that gives me 18.4 foot to my cabinets over there. Well, and then I go into the next room. I can hit add. I want to add that measurement and then I can measure the next measurement. All right, and you know, we come up 36, so 18 plus 18. And you can just go on that. And then if you accidentally, uh, um, if you're going around like a, a little wall and you need to take that out, you know, you've got your subtraction button. So we can subtract, let's go, um, let's subtract from here. All right, so we subtracted that four foot. So that's also a really nifty little feature. Uh, another one, if you're trying to figure volume, you know, you want to know how much cubic foot, you know, uh, an area has, you know, this fan will move this many cubic foot of air. So how many uh, air exchanges are you going to get? Well, you come over here and so we set it to cubic foot, we hit select, we're going to do, um, we're going to change our measurement to where we're shooting out both the front and the back. All right, and I'm moving this over so that we can kind of, all right, so we got that measurement. We're going to do like we did a while ago. Make sure my arm's not in the way. All right, we got that measurement. Oop, I got my table here, so again, I'm uh, kind of angling this. 
so that it can not hit the table. So 1,628 cubic foot of volume in this room. So if I want to have, you know, a two times air exchange, I need to have 3,200 cubic foot of uh, air movement. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to set, if you can see it, the uh, little dot is right there at the bottom of the window. And then I'm going to set it right here. Uh, you do need to kind of keep it in the same because if you move up or down, that changes the angle, which picks up the um, formula. But as you can see right here, you know, that was able to measure that window. Okay, so if we want to measure an angle above our heads, uh, all right, so we're going to come over here to this little icon there. Now with that little icon, I'm going to hit OK. And then, uh, I, again, I find that if I put something under me, so I want to do the first one. So I'm going to measure right there to the top. So that came up with 1.1 feet. So, you know, uh, that's a 12 inch filter and I was measuring, it's a three quarter inch uh, board on either side. So yeah, you know, pretty much dead on. So after you've gone around and did a whole bunch of measurements, you can come over back over here to your menu, come to that one, select it, and that's going to give you all of your measurements that you just did. So as I went through measuring, where if I'm wanting to measure, say, a whole house for carpet, I can go into each room, push the button twice, boom, boom, I got the square footage for that. And then when I get back to the shop, I can come in and I've got all, and it tells you here up in the little corner, there's the little icon like this one was the uh, cubic foot measurement, you know, and so you can tell, okay, so we was doing cubic foot. So we got the cubic foot icon, you know, this is just a plain measurement, you know, and if you had did um, your square footage, it tells you what measurement you were doing. I've been testing this out for the last two weeks and I have found way more uses for it than I thought I would have. You know, the uh, volume, is something that's really nifty. The square footage, if you are a painter and want to know about how much paint we're going to need to, you know, paint the walls, get the square footage. I mean, there's so many opportunities. So definitely people who do estimates and that are out uh, doing calculations of square footage a lot or even uh, the uh, volume. It, it, this little tool makes it so quick and easy. Uh, it's been extremely accurate. The only things that are not super nice is that it can go metric or feet, but on the feet it's decimals, which uh, I, I guess it has to be because it's out to three decimal places, so it's the uh, accuracy of it. It would have been nice had you been able to go in and adjust the accuracy, so you could say like the closest sixteenth of an inch, and you know it give you the reading in fractions. Other than that, you know, the accuracy of this has been dead on on everything I've done. Uh, being able to reach out there and it's up to like 264 foot is the maximum distance. And when I say accuracy, if you are measuring like the side of a house, the further you are away, it seems like the more, if you're like just holding it here and then moving it, if you're measuring something really close, you know, any little movement will adjust that angle and make the distance, you know, the uh, margin of error greater. So if I'm measuring something close, I find like if I find something to put my hand on and then measure that way, I'm staying in that same point. But if I'm like measuring across the house, you know, the window um, from 10 foot away, 20 foot away, uh, the further away, the less that that is important, I was able to hold it and then shoot up, shoot down, and everything seemed to come out very, very accurate. In bright sunshine, the red dot is difficult to pick up, and with the uh, bright sun, I also had gotten some errors where it had difficulty reading. 
So that is really the only fault that I found with this is uh, in the bright sun. You know, with the red laser, the red lasers are more difficult to see than the green. But other than that, I'm uh, happy that I had them send it to me. This thing, you know, works fantastic. So I'm going to put a link to this uh, Amazon affiliate link in the description. And I'm going to look and see if uh, they give me a discount code. If so, I'll put that in the description. And if you have one of these uh, that compares to this, if it's better, if it's worse, let me know because I haven't had a ton of experience with these. I just used old tape measure most of the time. But um, I said this is really coming in uh, useful for me. So let me know what you think. Until next time.